In the previous video, we learned about the built-in FS module, which allows you to work with the file system on your computer. Although it is perfectly okay to use the FS module, there is a more recent promise-based version of the same module. It is something you will come across in more recent code bases, especially when using ES modules, so I want to make sure you're aware of it. I'm going to comment out the existing code and move it to the bottom. Now for step one, import the module at the top. Const fs is equal to require node fs slash promises. We have now appended slash promises as you can see. Step two, let's read a file using the read file method. So fs dot read file file.txt. The second argument is the encoding type, which is UTF-8. Now though, since we are working with a promise-based version of read file, we can add then and catch blocks. So dot then and dot catch. Then is called when the promise resolves successfully. We get access to the data which we can log to the console. Catch is called when the promise rejects with an error. We get access to the error, which we can log again to the console. Now, if the concept of promises, then and catch blocks are new to you, please watch my advanced JavaScript crash course, which will help you understand the syntax. If we now save the file and run node index, we see the file contents, hello code evolution. Our code works as expected. Again, to prove this is asynchronous, let's add a few log statements. At the top, log first, and then log second after the call to read file. If we now run node index, we see first, second, and then the data from read file method. So what node does is start the file read and set it aside, which allows for further code to be executed. When the file reading is complete, node will then execute then or catch blocks, depending on whether the promise resolved or rejected. Because of this asynchronous approach, your app will not freeze when multiple users interact with the application. Now the promise-based FS module can also be used with async await as async await is just a syntactical wrapper over promises. However, since top level await can only be used in modules, that is .mjs files, I'm going to instead use an async function in the same file to not further complicate this. async function read file. Within the function, we have try catch blocks. Within the try block, we await fs.read file, passing in file.txt and utf8. In the next line, we can log the data. If there was an error, let's catch it in the catch block and log it to the console. Finally, call the read file async function. If we now run node index, we see the same output as before. Hello, code evolution. But this code is relatively easier to read. The callback based versions of the node FS module APIs are preferable over the use of the promise APIs when maximal performance is required, both in terms of execution time and memory allocation. But if that is not a major concern, I would recommend you stick with the promise-based FS module. All right, with this knowledge in place about the file system module, let's proceed to understand about streams and pipes in Node.js. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.